Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to implement Shared CN UI dashboard in Laravel 12 application. So we are going to install Laravel 12 starter kit with React and then I'm going to implement a dashboard using Shared CN UI. Okay, so let me go here and go to the starter kit. And if you are going to install with React, then it's already installed the Shared CN UI by default library. You can see over here laravel like react 90 okay and then typescript tilewind and then set cn ui okay so it's already you can see this is the set cn uh, website and it is open source and open code okay so you can easily use it so let me go to the blog and there is a already they provide beautiful design you can see that there is a counter and uh, there is a already sidebar and uh, you can see that with the chart on the dashboard and then you can see that simple listing of the data okay and then you can see that much more cleaner and much more like fillable with the data this is the dashboard so in our laravel 12 application we are going to set up this uh, dashboard okay so i'm going to do this scratch so let me go here and i will just say laravel new and it is asking for uh, application name so i will say shade cn okay and then i will say just app and then i will choose the react okay and then i will say just react and then i'm going to choose laravel default authentication system and hit enter so let's wait a moment to install the laravel application okay so let's wait a moment and it is also asking for npm install i will say yes okay and then let's wait a moment okay Oh, now this is perfect let me go to the shared cn app and let me clear it okay and now let me go to my vs code editor and let me open the project okay so let me go here and just open the folder triple w and me laravel and then let's say she shared cn app okay and then if i go to the env i already configured sqlite so i'm not going to worry about this all so it's already run the migration now let me go here and run the application php artisan cell okay and now let me go here okay and click on login before login i need to register so i'm going to register one user and i will say admin at the rate gmail.com and let me set up the password Click on create account you can see that there is a simple and minimal dashboard of this by default Laravel 12 starter kit provide but what if you want to use it uh, the shared cn dashboard okay so if i go here as i told you like by default if you are choosing react then laravel already using shared cn library so let me go here you just need to run this command so copy this and go here and let me clear this just run this command with dashboard 01 hit enter it will install the libraries okay so let's wait a moment okay it is asking use force to install yes i will say because there is some dependency they need to upgrade so let's wait okay and it is asking uh, overwrite yes i will say you can see that app sidebar you want to overwrite so because there is a lots of menu over here you can see that dashboard lifecycle analytics then if you go here and go to the js components ui inside the ui they, there will be a sidebar so you can see here so they are going to upgrade it okay so let me go here i will say yes yes i will say yes for all because i want to do exact design what they have provided so yes yes for card select toggle because they are going to change okay so yeah you can see that they have updated following all the files okay so you can see that there is a data tables now bar and all the things so let me go here and let me show you that one so you can see over here is data tables okay inside the component there will be your data tables so you can see over here they already added and like upgraded okay now what i need to do go here and just i will use npm run build so it will build again my js okay i'm not going to use the run dev be a run like uh, npm run dev because uh, they will keep uh, running the server okay so php artisan so 
okay and now let me go to the dashboard and if i refresh it you can see that beautiful dashboard over here okay but you can see over here that they are not going to upgrade at this dashboard okay so let me go and npm run there okay let me run this as well refresh it mm, it will take time because in the background there is a lots of process are doing let me close this and build it again because i don't have a high configured system so that's the reason but yeah let's wait and if i refresh yeah still nothing so let me go here and go to the go to the pages and there is a dashboard and you can see that they have not updated so what i need to do just go here and go to the code you just need to copy this and just paste it okay save it okay now let me build it again yeah, there is a problem with that like data.json is not found because if you go here for the chart you can see i can create a data dot json file so let me go here data dot json this is for testing but you can remove letter for this is for testing purpose so copy this and i'm going to just paste it save it okay and just let me run build it again so let's wait a moment to generate all the files yeah it's generated and now let me go here and just refresh the file you can see here like very beautiful design using the shared sheen okay so let me make it uh, yeah 100% okay you can see over here there is a beautiful design with this all okay now let me go and setting with uh, appearance okay and let me make it light mode and go to the dashboard as well so right now it's not all the linkable but uh, you can make it you can see that proper design with the chart as well so i hope guys you understand how easily just few step to install the dashboard of uh, a shared cn ui okay and then you can also install the some others uh, like alert and pages and all the things you can install okay in our laravel 12 application so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys